Okay, here we go with great bluegrass uh, breakdown called Wheel Hoss in the key of G. So here we are with uh, Bill Monroe's great tune called Wheel Hoss. Uh, this is a pretty standard bluegrass tune. You'll hear it played uh, really all over the place, um, many times really quickly. Uh, I chose to play it not super quick, but uh, just kind of an upper moderate tempo. Uh, it's a very repetitive tune, especially in the first part. And uh, the other thing you might want to know about it is there's a, an extra a couple of beats twice in the second part. Um, so we'll get to that in here in just a second. Uh, but this is the basic melody tutorial, so I'll show you a, a bare bones version. Uh, we'll get this under your fingers and then uh, I'll teach in the advanced melody tutorial uh, the, the variations and ornamentation that I was doing in the performance video. So here we go, key of G, get familiar with your scale in G. <laughs> And I generally start this tune just with four chops, and I come, for the basic me uh, melody, I will come in directly on the one beat. Okay, and this is based around arpeggios. So the first, the fifth, uh, the first, the third, and the fifth note in the scale. And up to the first again. We're going to use that a lot here. Uh, so that first lick that we're going to repeat three times sounds like this. Okay, so full arpeggio over G. Now we're dropping over an F chord. 2023. Oh, okay, and we just repeat that three times. And on the third time, when you get back up to the G note, third finger on the G string, uh, you're going to change and you're going to kind of wrap up this first set of uh, arpeggios. And it sounds like this, the last one. Okay, we're walking up to our third finger D note on the A string. using a low second finger, C natural, remember key of uh, G. All right, so let's talk about some advanced uh, variations and ornamentation and some double stops that we can throw in on Wheel Haas, the great Bill Monroe composition that uh, is pretty standard across the bluegrass world. Uh, so first off, I would play it pretty straight the first time through. I think that's always important uh, it doesn't really matter what tune you're playing, just kind of set the tone. And then when it comes back to you, if it's been passed around a circle or if you're playing it the second time through, just back to back, that's a good opportunity to put in some extra stuff. So let me play a little bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. So <clears throat> that's one thing you can do is instead of coming down there, you can pull off on your third finger G note. Instead of go ahead and go straight to your third finger from your second finger B note on the D, on the G string. And then in a slur, pull down, right? and then repeat that. The other thing I did there is something I talked about a little bit um, in the basic tutorial, which is substituting a C sharp for a C natural. 